Want to know how much money you're spending on CapEx or OpEx for your projects? You can use Tempo Cost Tracker to find out. Let's say that your team has been working on a project and logging their time to both CapEx and OpEx accounts in Tempo Timesheets. You know how many hours have been logged to these Tempo accounts, and now you want to put a dollar amount to those hours and also track other expenses related to these accounts. To do all that and more, you can create a Tempo project in Cost Tracker. Tracking the cost of time spent on capitalized expenditures, or CapEx for short, and operational expenses, or OpEx, can give you a lot of important data for managing your project. You can put a dollar amount to the hours worked for both CapEx and OpEx, Check the cost of each role on the project, such as developers, managers, or designers. Track the costs of a project against a budget. Get insights into profits and losses for a project. And assign certain expenses to these Tempo accounts, such as specific equipment or travel. I'm a project manager here at Lunar Industries, and my development team and other teams have been working on a couple of mobile apps related to our Helium-3 mining operations on the Moon. Here is what we've done in Tempo Timesheets, and this is what Cost Tracker needs in order to track CapEx and OpEx for the project. My team has logged their time to these Tempo accounts. These are the two CapEx accounts for the new development work on each app. These accounts are defined as capitalized, or CapEx, by type. The type is defined in the account category, which is what we've created and called development, to be for this type of work. This capitalized type is what Cost Tracker uses to filter for CapEx accounts. My team also logs their time to these two OpEx accounts to track the bug fixes and maintenance work done after each app has been released to customers. These accounts are defined as operational, or OPEX, by type. Again, this is defined in the account category, which is called maintenance here. The operational type is what Cost Tracker uses to filter for OPEX accounts. If I open up an account here, I see that it's linked to multiple JIRA projects, which is also what Cost Tracker needs. And that's because the issues in these projects have the accounts linked to them, so all time logged to the issues will be associated with that account. This lets Cost Tracker organize the time logged to those issues and put it in the correct account. My finance team wants to put a dollar amount to the cost of developing and maintaining these apps, so I'm going to create a tempo project in Cost Tracker to find out the labor costs and expenses related to these apps. The first and most important thing to do for using Cost Tracker is to create a JIRA filter that defines the scope of the Tempo project. I already created this simple one that includes the five JIRA projects to which my CapEx and OpEx accounts are linked, and this is where the teams have logged their time. Now I'll go to Tempo from the Apps menu, and you can also press the G and T keys to do this. And then I'll click the Cost Tracker icon in the sidebar to open it up to its home page and then click Create Tempo Project up here on the right. In this form, I'll enter the project name and select the JIRA filter that I just checked. I'll set the default hourly rate to $70 as a failsafe, but the rates that I'll be using are set per team role, as you'll see in a minute. The default currency is US dollars, even though we're based on the moon. Finally, I'll click this arrow here and select Create and Configure. And that takes me to the General Configuration page where I can add my budget of $850,000. So, my basic tempo project is set up with a minimum amount of work. Let's check it out. On the Overview tab here, I can see everything about the project. This blue slope is the labor cost, which is calculated by multiplying the number of hours worked on the issues in my JIRA filter by the cost rates for the team members. I can get more details about labor costs on the Scope tab, and there's even a breakdown of the cost and time spent per issue. Back in the overview, I can see the orange budget line here. And luckily, I still have some budget remaining. There are no expenses specified yet, but I'll add that soon. On the side here, I see the progress of my project, but what I'm really interested in is the accounts. 
This bar gives me a quick overview of the total time that is logged to the issues that are linked to the CapEx accounts and the OpEx accounts. And this is where the account type comes in. Cost Tracker finds only the time logged to accounts that are of capitalized or operational type. This uncategorized label shows time that's logged to issues that have either no account associated or accounts that are of a type that's not capitalized or operational. I want to drill down a bit into the details, so I click the CapEx link here, and now I see the two CapEx accounts, one for each app that we're developing, and the cost for each one. If I hover over the account, I see the customer name linked to it. The customer here is actually the year by which we organize our CapEx and OpEx accounts. But if you link these accounts to your external customers, you'll see that here. And this data also shows up in the report that I'll create in a minute. The account key is also here, which is a unique identifier for each account. Our finance team uses this information to match the accounts here to what they have in their financial software. Again, this data will be in the report that I'll create. Very importantly, I can easily see the total time spent on the CapEx accounts and the total cost of that time. This information is pure gold for our finance team. I'll go back and then click the OpEx link to see the details about those accounts. The accounts used here are for maintenance work on each app. Generally, we want to keep OpEx low, but it is an important part of each app's maintenance. The costs will keep going up over time, so it's good to clearly see where we're at now with the total time and cost of that work. Now I'm going to update the rates that are being used for the labor cost calculations. And to do that, I go back to the home page and then click Global Settings up here. And here I can set the rates for different team roles, and these will be used as the default for all my tempo projects in Cost Tracker. That default cost I set when I created my tempo project is used if there's no rate defined for a role here. I'm going to update the rate for the developer role, and this will definitely have an impact on the cost of my project. Since there's also a billing rate for this role, I'll increase that as well. Even though I changed this value, no changes are made to existing projects until you decide to update them. So to do that, I'll go back to the project list and open my project. And then go to Configuration and Roles and Rates. And here I can update the developer rate used for my project, or even adjust the rates per team member if I want. Each member of my team is assigned a role here. The role rate used for developers shows 110, which was the previous rate before I increased it. So now I'll update it here for my developers by simply reselecting developer as the role, and then accepting the new default developer rate of 130 that I just set in the global settings. I'll do this for each of the developers on my team. Now all the developers have the new higher rate, which increases the project cost. And one more thing that affects the project cost is expenses. I'll click Add Expense up here and enter Helium 3 Detection Gear. That's used for developing our apps. And the cost is $10,000. And I'll select Equipment as the category. These expenses are specifically for the CapEx accounts I'm tracking here. So I enter H3 to see the related accounts. And I can select only one here, so I'll choose H3 Lab CPX. And this was purchased back in March. After I add the expense, I see the account information in the list of expenses here. Let's go back to the overview to see how all these changes have updated my Tempo project. The total cost is higher now because of higher labor costs and expenses. Labor costs are higher since I upgraded the developer role rate. And this is reflected in the CapEx and OpEx costs, which I can easily see on this bar. The expenses related to this project were added here, which reduces the remaining amount of money in my budget. So now the financial team wants all this data so that they can do their calculations in their accounting software. So I need to export the labor cost information. I'll go to the Scope tab and then select Export Labor Costs to CSV. 
And this creates a CSV file that I'll open here and see that it's got a whole lot of columns with one row per issue. The cost rate, cost, all the account fields, and customer name and key are shown here. So this is all great detail to have for my finance team as well as project managers. Now I'll send this file to my financial team so that they can calculate the profits and losses for specific projects and see which projects are costing the most. So that's how we do it here at Lunar Industries. We track our time to CapEx and OpEx accounts that we set up in Tempo Timesheets. And then we use Cost Tracker to track those costs in a project. Check out the videos on our Tempo YouTube channel to learn more about Cost Tracker and also how to create and use Tempo accounts. Thank you.